respectful presence of our brothers and sisters across boundaries and faiths, let us all join in prayer and worship and gratitude and for guidance. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for the gift of life and all its joys. We thank you for today, for all its challenges in all its splendor. We thank you for the gift of one another. O God of infinite mercy and wisdom, only in unity with your will can all our toils have true meaning. Transform us into willing and able stewards of this world and its future. Bring us together to work with understanding and compassion as we toil and grow weary we pray for renewed strength and resolve. As we experience pain and sorrow, let us be reminded of untold good beyond. As we see pain and suffering, let us be instruments of your peace and extensions of your loving and healing hands. As we gather here today, bless us all that our collective knowledge be tempered and guided by your wisdom. Grant us clarity of vision to see the common good amidst all distractions. Endow us with humility and purity of heart to transcend all differences and reservations. When we leave this gathering, let us be the change we seek. As we endeavor to practice what we learn, let us be the good we want to see in others. As we work for our learners and their future, let it be that your will be done. In solemn silence, let us conclude with our own personal prayer. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magibig, kaya sa alam ng puso sa titipoy buhay. Upang hinirang, kuya ka ng magibig, sa mandulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatak. Day and one last obstacle to conquer. Um, we're here with you every step of the way. This is the seventh lecture from the series and we're very excited as we continue to help our barristers prepare for their exams. For this afternoon, we will answer the FAQs on legal ethics to accompany what you already know. The past we week frequently asked topics on the Bar Subjects Lecture Series is brought to you by the Philippine Association of Law Schools in collaboration with Rex Bookstore and Rex and the Campion. To know more about our event partners, let's all watch this video. Ako si Romel, proud print production manager. Ako si Giselle, proud pre-press artist. Ako si Dom, proud ako ng production supervisor. Ako si Anne, proud editor. Ako si Jonna, proud researcher. Ako si Grace, proud author. Ako si Roxanne, proud artist. Ako si Nelly, proud sales assistant. 
Proud ako na nagagamit ko ang aking talento para matulungan ang isang estudyante, guro o magulang na magkaroon ng imahen ng isang aralin na kanilang gusto o kailangan matutunan. Proud ako kasi sa umpisa pa lang ng book development kasama na ako. Working with the authors, so sa journey ng libro hanggang sa magamit na ito ng mga learners. Para makatulong to make them whole and responsible Filipinos. It's a good feeling. Maaaring sa iba, ay ito na sa kayo lang naman ang papel sa makina. Ngunit, ang kada papel na yun ay isang buubo ng isang libro na nakatutulog sa isang bata o sa isang tao upang matuto at umulad. Proud ako na maging bahagi ng proseso ito. Proud ako na yung pinag-aralan ko, yung pinagsikapan ko, yung pinuhunan ko ng bawat oras, pagod at puyat. Ngayon buo na, ngayon isa ng libro. I am full of hope na ang bawat nakabasa nito Matuto, makinabang, at makibahagi. Teacher ang nanay ko. Proud akong gumising sa bawat araw na alam kong may ginagawa ko na makakatulong sa kanya sa araw-araw niyang pagtatrabaho. Proud ako maging print production group manager dito sa Rex Printing dahil ang ginagawa ng mga libro ay nagbibigay ng kalaman sa mga kabataan. At isa pa, siyempre nagbibigay financial support sa aking pamilya. Kaya proud ako. Niwan ako, nakita ko na hawak niya yung isang libro na inimprenta natin. Nakwento daw niya sa mga kaklase niya na dito ako nagtatrabaho sa Rex. Nabanggit din niya yung mga pagbabasa at pag edit na ginagawa ko sa mga produkto natin para masiguradong maganda at maayos ang nakalalabasan ng mga produkto. Gabi na nga daw ako umuwi kung minsan para lang matapos yung libro. Para sa pamilya, para sa bata, konting sakripisyo, kayang kaya. Nung nag-aaral ako, marami rin kaming libro. Lalo na yung nag-aaral ako sa law. And never akong gumamit ng photocopy or illegal downloads. Gusto ko kasi yung pakiramdam na may hinawakan ka ng totoong libro. And those books help me become who I am today. So, proud ako kasi alam kong may isang tao rin akong matulungan sa pagsusulat nito. Proud ako kasi bawat customer na nakakaharap po namin dito sa brands laging may kwento. Ang anak ko, naku, ayun, pumasa na sa kanyang exam. Salamat sa inyong libro. O di kaya may lalapit na, buti na lang may kopya kami ng ganitong title. Hulog kami ng langit. Ang makita ng ganitong mga ngiti sa mga customers, sa tuwing nakakuha sila ng kopya ng title ng libro, nakakagaan din ang loob. Kasi... Thank you so much, Rex Bookstore and Rex Edo Campion, for collaborating with us on this event. Today's program aims to determine the most frequently asked questions for legal ethics. These FAQs will be determined and answered by a distinguished guest this afternoon, and they have prepared a presentation to help the bar takers as they take the exam of their life. To introduce today's speaker, Prosecutor Ryan Ray Severino Kilala is the son of the late Mahate City RTC Judge, Renata G. Kilala and Lirio Severino. He obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree from the La Salle University as a Dean's Lister and his Juris Doctor degree from the San Sebastian College Recoletos de Manila. He has been a member of the law faculty of the San Sebastian College Recoletos since 2002 and eventually became the Associate Dean for Student Affairs thereat from 2003 to 2007. He is a bar reviewer in several review centers. He is also a lecturer at the National Bureau of Investigation Academy the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, Metropolitan Trial Court Judges Association, and a mandatory continuing legal education lecturer in several various providers and chapters of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines. In addition to that, he authored a textbook titled An Overview of the Philippine Electoral System published by Rex Bookstore. Attorney Kilala was a supervising lawyer of the Sebastian Office of the Legal Aid from 2004 to 2011, and was engaged in private practice for more than 10 years before he became the Chief Legislative Officer Director 2 of Senator Aquilino Pimentel III in 2011. As a youth leader, he became the National Chairman of the Association of Law Students of the Philippines, the first student representative of the Technical Panel on Legal Education of the Commission on Higher Education, the Law Student Sector Representative to the First National Youth Parliament, and the Philippine Representative to several ASEAN Law Students conferences and competitions, as well as in several other international law conferences, including as an observer in the Philip C. Jessup Moot Court Competition and American Society of International Law in Washington, D.C. in 1997, 
and Harvard University Project for Asian and International Relations in 1999. He is currently an assistant special prosecutor of the Office of the Ombudsman and is a member of several special prosecution panels handling high-profile cases pending before the Sandigan Bayan. Without further ado, let's all welcome this afternoon's lecturer, Prosecutor Ryan Ray Kilala. Thank you very much, Ma'am uh, Regina, for that introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my topic this afternoon is on... Uh, ...is on legal ethics. Okay. Um, as Ma'am Regina said, I've been teaching since 2002. And one of the subjects that I... Uh, handled is legal ethics okay i taught legal ethics for about two semesters it's really hard because uh as you, as you know every uh, provision every canon is a uh, potential uh bar question okay so um we will not tackle everything so at this point we will just uh, see uh what the uh, Canons were uh, frequently asked in the bar exam. And aside from that, I will be um, discussing a few cases uh, decided by the chairman of uh, this year's bar exam, uh, Justice uh, Kagiwa. And um, uh, we'll, we'll uh, be giving some highlights, uh, some pointers at the end. Okay. Um, let me thank uh, the uh, Philippine Association of Law Schools, particularly uh, my good friend, my compare, Dean uh, Jimmy Festin, for inviting me, and also my uh, my uh, publisher, Rex Bookstore and Rex uh, Education, for this uh, last-minute lecture. Okay, so sabi nga ni Ma'am Regina, we will not uh, tackle anything that you do not already know. Alam nyo na to. Um, since legal ethics, uh, first year and fourth year legal ethics, and uh, etong review ninyo. The problem is uh, legal ethics uh, for the bar exam is uh, one of the, well, if not the most neglected subject. Kasi parang iisipin natin eh, ano na ito? Uh, we know this already. Uh, kumbaga parang... Uh, uh, ano na to? Parang uh, pag-aaral lang ko na lang during pre-week or... Makikinig na lang ako sa mga lectures, baka ano, doon ako matututo. Okay? So, later on, uh, daan na natin kung ano mga importante na mga canons. Okay? So, as preliminaries, uh, now, uh, what you are uh, entering is uh, the most uh, noble profession in the world. Okay? Uh, law is the noblest profession. I looked at it. I researched it and I couldn't find who's the original uh, author of this uh, phrase, but it's true. Uh, if you look at uh, the, the the structure of the cabinet, you can put any lawyer in any department. And there's a lawyer doctor, there's a lawyer engineer, there's lawyer lawyers everywhere. So ito yung pinaka-noble. And uh, talagang uh, pinagkakatingin na ng uh, ating uh, komunidad. Okay, and then uh, legal ethics. Legal ethics is defined as a branch of moral science, okay, which treats of duties of lawyers to the court, to his client, to his colleagues in the profession, and to the public. So, kung titignan niyo yung apat na yan, yan na yung coverage ng bar exam niyo, okay? Yung uh, yung uh, duty of the the fourfold fourfold duty of the lawyer to the society, okay, that's canons uh, 1 to 6, to the legal profession, okay, to his colleagues in the profession, that's canon 7 to 9, okay, to uh, the courts, okay, that's uh, canon uh, 10 to 13, and to his clients, okay, that's uh, canon 14 to 22. Okay, so ito na yung pinaka okay na coverage ng bar exam pinaka well it's uh, supposedly pinaka maikli uh, hindi hindi na sinama yung code of judicial conduct uh, 
and uh, dinagdag sa dulo uh, yung suspension and disbarment and discipline of lawyers under Rule 139 and 139A. Okay? So, what distinguishes our profession from the rest of the other professions? Sabi, pare-pareho lang naman kumukuha ng mga board exams yan or professional exams. But what distinguishes us from other professions is that we observe the tenets of our profession, okay? the, the ethics of our professions with continuing fidelity. When you become lawyers next year uh, or late this year, kung sakaling maaga-aga yung pagkatapos ng matapos sa pagche-check, ba? You will be taking up uh, mandatory continuing legal education and uh, six units thereof out of the 36 units will be on legal ethics. Paulit-ulit 'yan. Na legal ethics, legal ethics, legal ethics. Okay. So isipin niyo na kahit abogado na kayo, hindi tumitigil ang pag-aaral natin ng legal ethics. Okay? And uh, by the way, I would like to also thank my good friend, uh, Deputy Commissioner Erickson Balmes, and also uh, uh, my compare and uh, mentor, Attorney uh, Ed, uh, Ed Carillo. Eh, sila yung nag-provide sa akin ng uh, mga additional notes on legal ethics kasi ito naman talaga yung kanilang mga uh, forte. Okay? Okay. Sabi ng Integrated Bar of the Philippines, kung saan kayo ay uh, mapapasama na next year, tayong mga abogado, we are expected to maintain at all times a high standard of legal proficiency. Hindi pwedeng uh, hindi updated pa sa mga nangyayari. Morality, honesty, integrity, and fair dealing and must perform our fourfold duty. Kaya yan yung nabanggit nating kanina. Diba? Yung uh, duties natin to the, to the society, diba? to uh, the legal profession, to our clients, to and to the courts. Okay? So, yan yung uh, ating fourfold duty. Okay. So, let us just look into some, uh, well, well, yung mga sinasabi na madalas tanungin and yung sa tingin ko eh medyo it's, a, it's about time na itanong. Okay? So, konti lang naman to. It, Canon 1 has always been the uh, 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 kumbaga eh, uh, stronghold ng uh, memorize ng lahat ng kukuha ng bar exam. Okay? So, you all, you, you can forget about the other canons but never canon one because canon one says it all. Okay, nandiyan na, it summarizes everything. A lawyer shall uphold the constitution, obey the laws of the land, and promote respect for law and legal processes. So, nandiyan, dyan pa lang, pasok na pasok na yung uh, alam ninyo sa lawyer's oath and yung fourfold duty ng uh, mga abogado. Okay? And then, uh, rule 1.01 .01, sinasabi diyan that we shall not engage in unlawful uh, dishonest immoral and deceitful conduct so talagang uh, iba yung uh, profession natin talaga napakataas ng pagtingin so ito yung uh, kumbaga default provision ninyo in case everything fails and um, ma mental block kayo on sunday on legal ethics dahil baka mapagod kayo sa remedial law and of course this is the last exam Kung bag, ibuhos nyo na, di ba? Ibigay nyo na. Ito ang isa puso ninyo. Huwag nyo, huwag nyo kakalimutan ng Canon 1. Okay. Also, merong sa Canon 2, Rule 2.02, .02, the lawyer shall not charge rates lower than those customarily prescribed unless circumstances so warrant. Okay. Alam naman natin, when you become lawyers and you want to engage in private practice and you don't know how much you should charge your client, diba? you go to your uh, IBP chapter or uh, the particular chapter in the lo locality where you intend to appear as a lawyer and meron silang table yung, uh, uh, on the charges per pleading, per appearance, that's kung saan ka mag appear etc. Okay, so you go there and check and uh, as uh, your responsibility, you cannot go lower than... Uh, Kung ano yung prescribed doon. So, kung appearance fee ay, uh, let's say, 5,000, eh, wag kang mag-charge ng uh, 3,000 tapos eh, 
papakyaw ka ng maraming uh, abogado, ng uh, maraming kliyente, sorry. So, hindi ho pwede yun. So, uh, isa yan sa mga rules na medyo dapat uh, bantayan natin. Baka uh, ang gagamitin na, na dahilan e eh, pandemic. O, diba? So, unless circumstances so warrant, walang pambayad, diba? or uh, ta- hirap talaga, diba? eh, pwede naman. Diba? Kasi nga, uh, nasa rules naman na pwedeng magbaba. Basta lang, may reason kung bakit. Kasi, diba? uh, kung masyado mahal yung singil, eh, kawawa naman. Diba? It's our duty to, uh, to, to the society that uh, we administer justice. Okay. Rule 8, Rule 8 under Canon 8, uh, later on, madadaanan din natin to sa mga, sa mga kagiwa cases. Okay, A lawyer shall not directly or indirectly encroach upon the professional employment of another lawyer. Okay, So, pag engage na yung services ng ibang abogado, eh, wag nang pakikailaman. Pa, just like uh, if you are a member of Musa Attorney, I posted something uh, uh, there uh, na may isang uh, uh, humihingi ng legal advice. Sabi ko, uh, number one, I am uh, a, a, a government uh, lawyer, so hindi pwede. Then second, eh, meron na pala siyang kinonsultang abogado, so as courtesy, uh, hindi ka na magbibigay ng advice dahil unethical na yun. Okay. However, it is right for any lawyer without fear or favor to give proper advice and assistance to those seeking relief against unfaithful or, or neglectful counsel. Okay. So pag may lumapit, ito yung exception. Okay? So, pag may lumapit sa inyo na diba, as a rule, you cannot encroach upon the professional uh, employment of another lawyer. Okay? Pero kung yung kliyente sinasabi na hindi inaapiran yung kaso ko, hindi nagpa-file ng mga pleadings, hindi sumusunod na order, then you can diba, give pr- uh, proper advice, assistance. Diba? Pero wag na wag naman yung parang uh, in a sense na susulitin mo yung kliyente. Diba? So, parang sas, pwede mo sabihin na oh, uh, bitawan mo na yung kliyente mo dahil siyempre nagsasuffer yung kaso and then you get the services of a, a lawyer that could uh, take care of your case and handle your case properly. Okay? So, ganun man. Huwag naman, na, huwag naman yung sasabihin mo na bitawan mo na yung abogado mo, ako nalang kunin mo. <laughs> Mas mura yung uh, singil ko. Not, not like that. That's uh, so unethical. Okay? So, tandaan nyo, ha? So, bawal mag-encroach Kapag meron ng uh, counsel on record or abogado na na, uh, yung uh, kliyente and then pag naman, diba, sabi nga, uh, na pinapakita niya yan, eh, pinapabayaan nung, nung abogado yung kaso ko, diba, lumalampas yung mga deadlines, hindi nagpa-file ng pleadings. And that's the time you can give, give uh, reasonable advice okay, and assistance. Diba? Pero wag to the point na aagawin nyo yung uh, kliyente ng iba. Okay? So next, uh, on uh, draftsmanship, okay, sa pagsusulat ng uh, mga pleadings, sabi nga natin, ito yung mga, hindi pinapansin ng mga rules, pero magugulat ka na, nandiyan pala diba, sa rules na yan. Okay? So, um, kaya ako sinabi kanina that we should always be updated on uh, what is happening diba sabi ko when you become lawyers you should you are required we are all required to attend the uh, mandatory uh, continuing legal education for 36 units every 3 years so ka, sa paggagawa ng pleadings whenever we we write our pleadings okay you should not uh, knowingly misquote or misrepresent diba the contents of your uh, pleadings ba the language, the argument of uh, opposing counsel, yung uh, kumbaga iti-tweak ninyo. Hindi naman niya sinabi pero iniiba niya yung, yung, yung konteksto ng sinabi ng kalaban niyo. Or the text of a decision or authority or knowingly cite as a, a law, a provision already rendered inoperative by repeal or amended or assert as a fact that which has not been proved. Okay? So, maraming cases uh, before na uh, nakakapag-site ng uh, provision or even cases na overturned na pala, diba? and then the lawyer would uh, blame it on the legal researcher and or blame it on the secretary, etc. Ganyan. Or uh, sinasabi na iba yung nag-draft. Diba? 
ng uh, ng uh, pleading at siya ay pumirma lamang, 'di ba? Uh, hindi po execution. Diba? So uh, when we put our signatures in the pleading, it is uh, as if we st- are telling the court that we have read it from the title up to the signature page and we are confirming the truthfulness and veracity of this uh, pleading, ba? this document na uh, ipapasa namin sa, sa inyo or uh, even contracts or uh, uh, deeds na nagagawin ninyo. So, hindi pwedeng mag-misrepresent ka dyan sa mga yan. It's, it's, it's a violation of the Code of Professional Responsibility. Okay? So, knowingly, ah, knowingly misquote or misrepresent because uh, the uh, assumption is that at lawyers, we should we should know, we should have known at uh, we should have been uh, updated always. Okay? Okay? Um, Uh, na uh, may isang uh, lawyer uh, uh, na ang ginamit niyang defense ng kanyang uh, kliyente, the accused is a, a, a law that has already been repealed by the local government code. So, na, yung uh, lawyer eh, nagulat na diba? uh, nowadays, may mga applications naman na could, could tell us that uh, a law has already been repealed, amended. So, madali-dali na ito. Okay? So, kaya medyo nababawasan ng konti. Okay. What about uh, power dressing? Ba? Meron bang provision sa, kan- sa kano na sinasabi na dapat tayo eh, naka-formal uh, pag umaaten ng, ng hearing? The answer is yes. Diba? A lawyer shall appear in court properly attired. Okay? So, dress modestly, coupled with decency. Huwag naman yung masyadong uh, <coughs> revealing <coughs> yung mga bagay na dapat hindi nakikita ng mga ibang tao and avoid loud colors and uh, pieces of jewelry. Okay kasi hindi naman kasama sa sa pagiging abogado 'yan. So uh, there was a time na may isang uh, uh, law intern kami na pina-attend ng hearing and itong law intern ay dumating sa court naka short sleeves na barong. Eh tang sabi niya sa amin, sorry sir, hindi ko alam. Okay, sabi ko you should have known kasi nasa canon 'yan that you should supposed to appear in court properly attired, hindi pwede yang uh, naka short sleeve. So, as supervising lawyer, we took over the handling of the case at uh syempre napagalitan yung uh, law intern. So, nasa canon po 'yan na we should appear in court properly attired. Okay. What about for lawyers in uh, the government? Particularly prosecutors, duty pa, duty ba nila na mag-convict? There is a a rule under Canon 6 na sinasabi the primary duty of those engaged in public prosecution, ba? Is to see to it that justice is done. Okay? Sinabi diyan mismo, it's not to convict, 'di ba, the accused, but to see to it that justice is done. Is done. Okay. So, yeah, dinagdag pa dyan, the suppression of facts or the concealment of witness capable of establishing the innocence of the accused is highly reprehensible and is a uh, cause for uh, disciplinary action. Okay. So, pag nakikita naman natin na uh, it could uh, uh, extinguish the criminal liability of the accused, di ba? Dati ito yung magpapa-acquit sa kanya. Diba? Wag wag naman haharangin at na todo-todo dahil masyado kang gigil to have the accused convicted, diba? That that could go against you. Okay? So sinabi mismo dun sa rule na 'yon. Okay? Sinabi pa sa rules under Canon 12, Rule uh, 1201, a lawyer shall not appear, appear in, in trial unless he has ad- adequately prepared himself with the law and the facts of the case the second the evidence that he will adduce uh, and the order of its preference hindi ka yun yung nanghuhula kung uh, anong unahin mo principal witness ba corroborative witness ba yung mag identify lang ba ng mga documents ba and speaking of documents di ba the uh, uh, canon also said that you should be ready with the original documents for comparison with the copies okay so uh That this will also require your application of uh, knowledge about the rules on evidence kung uh, papaano magpresenta ng mga original documents. Okay? So, another important rule under Canon 12 is that uh, a lawyer should refrain 
from talking to his witness during the break or recess of the trial while witness is still under examination. Okay, baka tanungin sa bar exam, diba? uh, pwede magkaroon ng break during uh, hearing, yes. Diba? Uh, the judge can declare a, uh, a, uh, a recess. Diba? Tapos babalik ng uh, pag nagutom gutom na lahat ng mga tao, pwede bumalik. But as a rule, the witness will remain on the witness stand, bawal lapitan ng abogado kasi baka mayroong uh, sabihin or iabot na dokumento or ebidensya. So, hindi pwedeng uh, lapitan pagka nagkaroon ng break. Okay, so, while the witness is still in, under investigation. In fact, class, pagka when you become, become lawyers, uh, it is also uh, against the rules na pag um, one of your witnesses is uh, under examination or uh, on the witness stand, eh, yung mga susunod na witnesses mo ay nasa loob ng courtroom. Kailangan palabasin yan dahil they may be uh, coached by what the first witness will be testi testifying or the, the witness prior to them will be testifying. O, so, kung maganda bibigyan ng tip na ito yung sasabihin nyo later on when you sit on, uh, on, the, on the witness stand. So, bawal din yan. Okay? Next, you have to know your judge not to... Uh, not to know na parang uh, maging chummy-chummy at uh, to corrupt the judge. Ha? But you have to know the judge. Pero may limitation. Wala namang problema na may mga kaibigan kayong judge, judges. But sabi ng rule mismo, rule number, uh, uh, rule uh, canon 13, uh, rule 13.01, a lawyer shall not extend extraordinary attention or hospitality to a judge or no seek opportunity to cultivate familiarity with judges. Okay? Wala naman problema kung mga kabatch nyo yan nung law school, eh, katulad namin, may mga kabatch, kabatch na kami ng mga judges, syempre mga kaibigan namin, uh, may mga sudyante na ako ng mga judges ngayon, both MTC and uh, RTC, may mga kaibigan na rin na justices, di ba? Uh, wala naman proble problema, familiarity with them, but the, ang pinagbabawal ay yung extraordinary attention Diba? or uh, hospitality extended to these judges diba? na bibig sasama nyo sa mga trips ninyo abroad diba? or palagi nyo ililibre ng dinner, etc. Okay? But uh, of course, to some extent, diba? may exception naman yan kung talagang kaibigan mo na beforehand. Okay? So pinagbabawal din yan. Okay? So baka tanongin sa bar exam, ito yung mga <clears throat> uh, yung mga Kumbaga, magic hugot na examiner na hindi natin pinapansin na provision that might be as in the bar exam. Ngayon, meron bang provision under the the code of personal response about lawyers being interviewed by members of media? Okay. So, meron ba? The answer is yes. As you you know already, the rule on subjudice that uh, you cannot disclose anything to uh, the media or anybody if the, if the case is uh, still pending before the court, uh, the court. Okay. So under Canon 13, Rule uh, 1302, sinasabi dyan mismo, diba, that uh, a lawyer shall not make any public statement in the media regarding a pending case tending to arouse public opinion for or against a party. Okay. So kung factual lang, Kasi nakikita, eh bakit pag uh, may hearing si Ganto, nagpapainterview yung kanyang abogado, walang problema as long as uh, it's just a statement of facts. Narrative lang yung kanyang mga sinasabi. Pero pag meron na siyang sinasabi that would tend to arouse public opinion, diba? ay, corrupt si judge, ay, nagbayad si ganyan, ay, uh, peke yung mga dokumento, ay, nagkakagaguhan na pala. Yan yung mga pinagbabawal. Okay, so wag nyo nga, do not steer the public na yeah, you want to get the the public to uh, be on your side na mali-mali naman yung sinasabi mo. So just in case na magtanong, dahil ngayon maraming mga lawyers nagpapa-interview sa media, bawal ba magpa-interview sa media? The general rule is that uh, no, hindi naman bawal. But if you uh, make a statement tending to arouse public opinion for or against a party, but not only the litigants, but uh, it this includes uh, the the judge and the other counsel uh, in the case. So, bawal yan pag uh, it aroused public opinion na for or against uh, a particular party. Okay? Okay. So, next, 
yung mga importante pang uh, provisions under siyempre Canon 17 uh, the the a lawyer owes fidelity to the cause of his client and he shall be mindful of the trust and confidence repose in him okay dito natin sisimulan ang ating mga kagiwa cases and the last case case that I will discuss will also boil down to Canon 17 that the uh, as a practicing lawyer you owe fidelity to the cause of your client and you should be mindful of the trust and confidence repos kung pinagkatiwalaan ka ng kliyente mo alagaan mo yung uh, yung uh, kliyente na yan ay yung uh, tiwala na binigay sa at huwag mo sisirain okay canon 18 a lawyer shall serve his client with competence and diligence okay wag yung uh, may uh, isang uh, kaso na after makuha yung kanyang uh, Uh, acceptance fees uh, nagpapasundo sa kliyente sa bahay para ihatid siya sa Sandigan Bayan wala namang masama uh, ngayon may hearing sunod-sunod daily tapos sinabi niya na sunduin mo ulit ako sa bahay ganyan-ganyan and then pauwi biglang sinabi na oh, pengi ako ng uh, pocket money kasi yung uh, pupunta ako sa US magbabakasyon ako kasama ko asawa ko medyo iba na yon. Diba? And then uh, the next day, gano'n naman, sinabing uh, sunduin. Sabi uh, ng kliyente, eh, malilate ako. Ganyan, ganyan. Uh, kung hindi mo ko susunduin, eh, hindi na ako atin ng kaso. Ganyan, ganyan. Bahala ka. Ganyan, ganyan. So wag gano'n. Okay? Uh, that lawyer was uh, 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 sanctioned by uh, the Supreme Court for doing that diba? because of his violation of the Code of Professional Responsibility. Okay? And lastly, okay, eh, paano, eh, hindi naman last na, na slide ha, pero yung uh, mga canons na sa tingin natin ay, ay importante at uh, dapat bigyan ng pansin din na uh, medyo uh, dahil, uh, ano, uh, timely kumbaga. Uh, yung uh, kinakailangan ba talaga ng mga abogado na umatin na MCLE? Or pag naimbitahan ka ng uh, ng uh, let's say ng kongreso to be a resource person kailangan mo ba magpunta di ba or maimbitahan ka na maging uh, amicus curiae di ba or uh, isang uh, di ba expert sa isang field kailangan mo ba magpunta di ba sabi ng uh, canon 4 the court the a lawyer shall participate in the development of the legal system by initiating or supporting efforts in law reform and the improvement of the administration of justice okay so participate in MCLE by mga legal aid also if you get invited ano ang opinion mo dito sa mga pending bills na to uh, ano nga uh, dapat gawin at hindi dapat gawin di ba so we have to also participate in that di ba so just in case tanungin di ba baka ang magiging uh, sasabihin ng abogado bakit naman ako pupunta diyan eh hindi naman required sa amin yan na umaten sa mga bill drafting bill drafting na yan. So nasa canon po 'yan. That a lawyer shall participate in the development of the legal system. Okay? And uh, as a resource person, he should support the efforts in law reforms. Okay? And this will improve the uh, administration of justice pagka naimbitahan ka sa mga ganyang bagay. Okay. So these are some of the canons that I have said uh uh Looking at the past uh, three days, hindi naman ganong ka heavy yung dami ng tanong, de ba? Uh, yung uh, hindi lumalampas ng uh, 15, 17 questions, de ba? Wala pa yata ng umabot ng 20. So ka uh, read what is enough na sa tingin niyo ay uh, pwede na sa darating na Sunday. Okay. Now let's look into uh, some of the cases that were decided by your chairman okay dahil um, uh, sa dami ng mga kaso diba if kung uh, mahilig kayong tumingin ng uh, mga sites na may mga jurisprudence pwede kang tumingin diyan diba 2020 you start with January makikita mo doon na AM AC number Tsaka kung ano-ano pa, tapos makikita niyo yung mga kaso, di ba? In a month, hindi nawawalan ng uh, disposition of cases involving mga, not only mga 
may mga kasalanan ng mga abogado, may mga judges din, syempre so admin matters and yung mga uh, hindi hindi may, kahit hindi abogado ay eh, mga sheriff, uh, uh, clerk, diba, sa kanilang mga trabaho. So meron at meron at meron. So kung tutusin sa isang taon, 'di ba? Ang dami niyan kung uh, iisa-isahin mo, 'di ba? Kung sabi mo ng inaman, may makikita kang mga lima. So if you if you compute that in a year, that's already about uh, 60 cases na babasahin niyo as compared to other subjects na in a year hindi naman ganun ka karami ang uh, uh, nadadagdag na nadadagdag. So talagang legal ethics, 'di ba? Although it is a uh, constant like uh, uh, labor, diba? yung concept eh, pare-pareho din naman, pero ang dami, padami ng padami yung mga cases na dapat nating tandaan. So, we, uh, we, we, I, I, we looked into the cases uh, penned by uh, Justice Kagiwa starting 2016 at tinignan natin yung mga unbank at saka yung mga Uh, division cases na dinesida niya. Now as to per uh, curiam cases, uh, hindi ko na tinakel dahil uh, halos uh, na, pare-pareho din naman yung dun sa mga sinasabi dun sa pen mismo ni Justice Kagiwa. But as uh, so as as na as of uh, today, I, I I'm sure hindi na kayo nagulat ng sinabi ko per curiam, de ba? Pag per curiam yung kaso, hindi nila lagay kung sino punente. Eh. But it is the decision of the the entire uh, court na siguro for uh, uh, security reasons or safety reasons wag na lang ilagay kung sino imponente so may mga cases na mababasa niya per curiam so hindi natin alam ito yung decision as a body of the supreme court but um, um, we do not know who the the particular ponente is okay for that particular case okay so let's go with um, uh, kagiwa cases okay Uh, unahin natin itong uh, kaso ng uh, uh, Judge uh, Pantanosas Jr. versus uh, Eli Pamatong. Okay. Meron ako ilalagay dyan na quotable quote. Okay. And this quotable quote uh, in your screen, pwede ninyo na rin gamitin as uh, a de- default uh, answer. Diba? Ikaw mag- uh, 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 kailang introduction eh. okay. Now, uh, kung meron kung may time kayo mahanap nyo yung uh, attorney Ryan kilala sa pickup uh, lines or at, attorney Ryan's bar pickup lines nilabas ko yan uh, supposedly for uh, reviewees of the Recoletos uh, Law Center and somebody Uh, without my knowledge and consent, uh, uploaded it in the internet. So, kumakalat na siya. So, hanapin nyo na lang doon na sinasabi ko doon na you should always have a strong introduction. Catchy na yung magbabasa eh. <coughs> May kita point na basahin yung uh, inyong uh, exam. So, isa yan. Bakit? Kasi, uh, lagi kong sinasabi, when you take the bar exam, although it's late, ha, bak- baka sabihin nyo, okay, lang yan to si attorney, yan sinabi, di ba? But anyway, better late than never. You can still use it in remedial law and legal ethics. Ang mindset nyo dapat, you write for your reader and not for yourself. Okay? You huwag nyo gagamitin standard yung sarili ninyo. Okay na ba to sa, sa standard ko? Okay, okay, maganda. I gave my 100%. Eh, dun sa magbabasa. Eh, ang magbabasa dyan ay either member of the academe, Uh, mga retired justices or incumbent justice, mga sikat na mga uh, abogado at uh, mga expert in their field, sa tingin nyo ba, eh, pareho kayo na standard. So you have to write for them. Sila. How would they rate you pag nabasa nila yung gawa ninyo? So you write for your reader, not for yourself. Kung sa tingin mo, okay na ito. Agad na nang ginawa ko. Pag nabasa ba na isang retired justice, ng isang uh, uh, isang uh, Akadim, member na Akadim na ilang dekada na. Would you think uh, bibigyan ka ng uh, mataas na grade? So, yun ang dapat mindset ninyo. Huwag yung sarili ninyo na magandagan na ginawa ko. So, yung katingin mo, yung judge or yung justice ay magaganda. The same, same goes when you may, we make pleadings. Dapat ganun din ang ating uh, mindset. Okay. So, eto, quotable quotes. Diba? If you can pick up some of this, the, the, the law 
pra- practice of law is a privilege burdened with conditions and is reserved only for those who meet the twin standard of legal proficiency and morality. Diba? Ang ganda na ng opening state- statement mo. Dagdaga mo pa, it is so delicately imbued with public interest. Totoo naman. Diba? Yang, uh, ang, uh, ang legal profession that it is both a power and a duty of this court to control and regulate it in order to protect and promote public welfare. In this regard, this court will not hesitate to hold its officers accountable for misconduct and violation of the duty to respect the court. So ito yung uh, unang-unang uh, uh, pick-up uh, line na dapat ninyong medyo idagdag sa inyong mga bala for legal ethics. Now, ano ba itong uh, kaso ni Judge Pant- Pantonas versus sa uh, Eli Pamatong? Okay? Nagsimula ito, ba? When na uh, 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 si Eli Pamatong ay uh, nag-appear dito sa sala ni Judge Pantanton, uh, Pantanona, Nosas, okay? Uh, ni request ni Judge na tanggalin ni uh, pa, Attorney Pamatong yung kanyang uh, Uh, ano tawag doon na yung uh, kopya yung uh, sombrero na suot ng mga muslim okay so uh, sinabi naman ni uh, Tony Pamatong na siyempre ano yan parang uh, uh, due to religious grounds and uh, at sinabi rin niya na, na nakakalbo na siya na ano eh hindi wag tatanggalin di ba dahil, dahil muslim naman siya okay uh, so sabi naman ni judge okay Okay, but uh, next hearing, uh, pa, hindi na siya papayag na isuot sa courtroom yung ganon. ba? Diba? So, ang ginawa ni Pamatong, diba? pag after that incident, diba, eh, nag-file siya ng motion for inhibition against uh, Judge Pantanosas. Okay? Uh, ay, Pantanosas. Tama, Pantanosas. At sinabi niya dyan sa, sa kanyang uh, pleading, sinabi niya na In my 30 years of practice in the legal profession, I have never encountered a judge who ap- appears to be as corrupt as you. Diba? Ganon mismo yung statement ni uh, uh, ni, uh, at ni Attorney Pamatong sa kanyang motion. Okay. So, siyempre si judge eh, na saktan. Then he filed the case again sa Eli Pumatong, di ba? And as we know, Supreme Court has always been telling the just judges, di ba, huwag kayong mga onion skin. Don't be onion skin. And yung mga konting uh, patutsyada ng mga abogado, eh, pinipersonal nyo, nasasaktang kagad kayo. But we have to look into the statement of the lawyer kung talaga nakaka-offend ba sa damdamin ng mga judges. So anong sinabi niya? Di ba, in my 30 years of... Uh, Uh, law practice, di ba? I have never encountered a judge who appears to be as corrupt as you. Diba? Yan ang kanyang uh, uh, sinabi dun sa judge. And not only that, parang uh, eh, kinasuhan pa niya yung judge uh, sa, sa, pa, para matanggal sa pwesto. Okay. So the Supreme Court said in, in uh, the case of Pamatong, di ba? sabi niya, we find it befitting to reiterate that lawyers have the right both as an officer of the court and as a citizen to criticize in properly respectful terms and through legitimate channels the acts of courts and judges. So pwede naman tayo mag-criticize pero wag naman yung uh, babana tayo ng wala sa lugar. Diba? However, closely linked to such rule is the cardinal condition that criticism, no matter how truthful, shall not spill over the walls of decency and priority to that end the duty of a lawyer to his client's success is wholly subordinate to the administration of justice diba kahit sabi mo nga uh, masyado kang sa ako nga lagi kong sinasabi when when i'm uh, uh, invited as a lecturer for uh, trial technique if it does not add value to your client's cause do not put it in your pleading okay if it does not add probative value to your client's cause do not say it in court Bab kasi may mga abogado na uh, nang aasar, one of the banter at each other does not add value to the case, di ba? Wala namang nadadagdag na ebidensya or napapatunayan yung asaran ninyo. What more yung sabihin mo sa isang uh, judge na I have never encountered a judge who appears to be as corrupt as you, di ba? So that according to the Supreme Court, eh lumampas na. It has spilt over 
the walls of decency and propriety. So, kahit masabihin mo na meron kang uh, duty sa iyong kliyente, that is not as uh, superior to the administration of justice. Subordinate lang yan. Okay, so, what happened here? The Supreme Court uh, suspended Attorney Pamatong ba? Uh, for, 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 uh, for uh, two years. Okay, and uh, he was warned na a uh, similar uh, incident or repetition of a similar uh, infraction uh, would uh, merit a more severe penalty. Okay, so ingat-ingat po tayo. So kung tatanoy man sa bar exam, pwedeng parehong-pareho or pwedeng isang judge, ay ah, isang lawyer mag-criticize, uh, may karapatan ba siya, sabi nga yes, but you have to do it in the proper legitimate channels and na you file a case against uh, the judge and you don't say it say it in a motion for inhibition okay because it will go into the records at yung records na yan ay mababasa hanggang umakyat sa sa taas and like if you file a case na confidential eh mapupunta lang sa mata ng mga uh, handling uh, commissioners at ng mga board of governors until the supreme court okay now next Tand isa pang quotable quote na maidadagdag ko sa inyo, a lawyer's failure to return upon demand the funds he held by by him on behalf of his client gives rise to the presumption that he has appropriated the same for his own uh, use in violation of the trust reposed upon him, diba? Yan sinabi ko kanina, tungkol diyan. Okay. So before we tackle the case, let's have a okay lang ba? Let's have a 5 minute break. Uh May I just need to go to the washroom and I'll see you after five minutes. Stressed out? Wishing for new ways to learn and master codal provisions? Codify makes it easy with just a few taps. You can customize and select the tracks to memorize or study further. With Codify's Playlist Manager, choose from the subjects and create your own playlist. Imagine your own law track. Experience studying the law anytime, anywhere. Fortify learning with Codify. Meet your new learning buddy. Download Codify now. Achieve your learning goal. One track at a time. Listen and learn with Codify. Get the app today. Your first seven days are on us. Ako si Romel, proud print production manager. Ako si Giselle, proud pre-press artist. Ako si Dom, proud ako na production supervisor. Ako si Ann, proud editor. Ako si Jonna, proud researcher. Ako si Chris, Proud of. Pa lang ng book development, kasama na ako. Working with the authors, so sa journey ng libro hanggang sa magamit na ito ng mga learners. Para makatulong to make them whole and responsible Filipinos. It's a good feeling. Maaring sa iba, ay nagasakay ka lang naman ng papel sa makina. Ngunit, ang kada papel na yon ay siyang bubo ng isang libro na nakatutulong sa isang bata o sa isang tao upang matuto at umundan. Proud ako na maging bahagi ng prosesong ito. Proud ako na yung pinag-aralan ko, yung pinagsikapan ko, yung pinuhunan ko ng bawat oras, pagod at puyat. Ngayon buo na, ngayon isa ng libro. I am full of hope na ang bawat makabasa nito, matuto, makinabang at makibahagi. Teacher ang nanay ko. Proud akong gumising sa bawat araw na alam kong may ginagawa ko na makakatulong sa kanya sa araw-araw niyang pagtatrabaho. Proud ako maging print production group manager. So, proud ako kasi alam kong may isang tao rin ako matulungan sa pagsusulat nito. Proud ako kasi bawat customer na nakakaharap po namin dito sa brands laging may kwento. Ang anak ko, naku, ayun, pumasa na sa kanyang exam. Salamat sa inyong libro. O di kaya may lalapit na, buti na lang may kopya kami ng ganitong title. Hulog kami ng langit. Ang makita ng ganitong mga ngiti sa mga customers, sa tuwing nakakuha sila ng kopya ng title ng libro, nakakagaan din ng loob. Kasi parang naging parte na rin tayo ng buhay nila at ng journey nila. 
Ako si Tony Morano, proud customer of Rex. Sa lahat ng nagbigay ng oras, atensyon, expertise, sa lahat natin na nagpagod at nag- Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry for that break. Uh, uh, medyo talagang ano. Uh, I, I have a bladder problem lately. Not if I need to go, I need to go. <laughs> Kaya talagang uh, mamadali ako kanina. So take note of this, ha? The There is a presumption that uh, if a demand is made of the funds uh, be entrusted by the, the client to a lawyer and the lawyer fails to give it back the funds, the, the presumption is that he has appropriated it uh, for his own use. Okay, This is in violation of the trust uh, given to the lawyer by his client. Okay, So uh, may pagkakaiba ho ito doon sa pondo na hinabilin sa abogado at yung mga abogado na mahilig mangutang sa mayaman nilang kliyente. Okay? Yung pondo entrusted to the lawyer, let's say, pa, dapat yan filing fees yan or acceptance fees yan or basta legal fees nyo yan. Di ba? At hindi naman kayo tumupad sa usapan o hindi nyo final yung kaso o hindi nyo final yung pleading or whatever legal uh, services that you're supposed to give that client, you have the obligation to return it. Diba? Of course, with the uh, qualification na uh, kung meron kayo naman nagawa, diba? quantum merit kung, uh, il- kung, kung, uh, kung babawasan man. Iba yan sa utang na although you are not supposed to do that, diba? Binang, binanggit natin kanina, diba? Yal, uh, yung trust and confidence ay pwedeng uh, masira between uh, the lawyer and the client. Diba? Uh, uh, ibabalik mo yan in a separate action for a civil case for collection sum of money that will be filed against you. Unlike the these legal fees that uh, are given to lawyers, pwedeng, uh, in an administrative case, it can be uh, asked uh, for, of the court to return this. Okay? So, there is case, this Aguilar versus uh, uh, Aguilar di Kianco versus Attorney Arellano. At yung mga quotable quotes natin, a lawyer once he takes up cause of clients has the, the duty to serve such client with competence and attend to his client's cause with diligence, care, and devotion. Whether he accepts the engagement for free or for a fee. Moreover, lawyers should refrain from obtaining loans sinasabi, from their clients in order to avoid perils of abusing the trust and confidence reposed upon him by such client. Okay? So, ano ba ang uh, kasong ito ni uh, uh, Aguila Di Chianco versus Attorney Arellano? The parties met way back in uh, 2004 because the uh, respondent here in this case was the professor of the uh, complainant. Okay? Sa isang uh, 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 university. Okay? Now, Uh, sinabi na na kunin kukunin siya na na lawyer okay and then na uh, uh, he was asked to file a collection case against a, a party and the uh, the uh, complainant here gave uh, 10,000 pesos to uh, attorney Arellano but, and plus 2,000 pesos for uh, uh, for his appearance in the case but uh, uh, he failed to do so Diba? So sinasabi niya na oo, oh, na i-file na, ganyan, i-file na, na-file na, ganyan, making excuses, okay? And then in the course of uh, their uh, relationship, diba, eh, he obtained several loans from uh, the complainant na hindi niya nabayaran, okay? And to secure these loans, diba, nag-issue siya ng, uh, ng uh, mga post-dated checks that when... Uh, 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 deposited in in the bank, okay. It was dishonored, 
Okay? So, when it was presented to the bank, it was dishonored for its sufficient uh, fund. Ba? Medyo maloko si attorney. Ba? Uh, iba pa dyan, ba? may negosyo itong uh, client nito uh, at uh, nagbebenta siya ng mga magnetic bracelet. Kumuha ng mga merchandise. Diba? Tapos sinabi niya, ibebenta. Ibebenta ko to ganyan, ganyan. And then, uh, hindi na siya nagre-remit ng payment. Kumuha pa na marami merchandise para ibenta. So, sinising nila sa kanya. Parang dapat may limit lang, pero hindi naman na, 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 na nasunod yung limit. Dahil nga professor, so nagpagbigyan na mas marami pa. Diba? And then, uh, uh, na for, for some reason, he was able to convince the 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 complainant na they uh, have a joint account para dito sa kanilang uh, negosyo na to uh, para mas madali di ba na hindi na siya hihingi ng pera hindi na hihingi ng pondo so kinang dalawa na lang but eventually yung uh, uh, respondent uh, in this case eh we need draw na we need draw yun laman ng kanilang uh, joint account di ba And among others, may, may loan pa rin siya, additional loans uh, na hindi nabayaran at uh, finailan pa niya ng libel case itong kanyang kliyente na dati niyang sudyante. Okay, so napuno na itong uh, complainant. So eventually, nag-file na siya ng case sa uh, Committee on Bar Discipline at uh, umakyat hanggang Supreme Court. Okay, at ang sabi ng Supreme Court, Uh, uh, na violate ang rule 16. Okay, rule 16 under canon 16 of course, 'di ba? Yung binabanggit natin basta tungkol sa pera. Diba? Um ito yung isang tip na binigay sa akin when I was uh, taking the bar more than 20 years ago na ito yung uh, pagtungkol sa pera at may uh, abogado ang 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 facts, abogado at pera, laging liable yung abogado pag tungkol sa pera. So sabi diyan na uh, Uh, the lawyer shall account for all the money or property collected for or from his client. Okay, the acceptance of the money establishes a lawyer-client relationship and gives rise to the duty of fidelity to the client's cause. Money entrusted to a lawyer for a specific purpose, such as for filing fee, but not used for failure to file the case, must immediately return to the lawyer. Ba? Uh, dito sa kaso nito, sinasabi ng Supreme Court, hindi naman un- undisputed yung facts na da- binigyan siya ng 10,000 para sa filing fees, uh, uh, binigyan din siya ng, ng pera para part of the acceptance fee na hindi naman na, na final yung kaso. Diba? Uh, hinihingi yung uh, dokumento, hindi niya binigay. Diba? And, uh, kung ano no pa. Diba? Ang dami na niyang uh, palusot, inutangan niya at uh, kinuha na niya ng mga merchandise na hindi niya binalik at hindi na niya binayaran. Diba? And sinabi ng Supreme Court dito that uh, the uh, respondent displayed a lack of zeal diba? in uh, handling the case of the complainant and, and in neglecting uh, the... Uh, needed documents for uh, the filing in court. So, marami talagang kakas... So, ano nangyari dito? Eh, the Supreme Court suspended uh, the respondent uh, counsel in this case and he was ordered to return the uh, 10,000 plus the 2,000 part of the acceptance uh, fee. Sabi ko nga, eh, parang sinasabi nyo, eh, sir, akala ko ba maraming loans kanya ganyan? So, I, like I've said, pag yung money entrusted by the client to the lawyer pwedeng i- ipabalik yan but yung as to the loans na yes pinagbabawal pero hindi pwedeng iutos ng uh, <clears throat> Korte Suprema yan na ibalik it is an, an issue that can be addressed in a uh, separate uh, civil case against the lawyer okay so the next case is this case of Monares versus attorney Munoz, Monaris et al. Kasi actually, tatlong uh, kaso ito na consolidated, isa yung kay Monaris, tapos uh, isang uh, kumpanya, tapos isa pang uh, uh, tao na representing another company. So, tatlong cases yan against attorney Munoz. Okay. So, ano ang nangyari dito? Uh, si attorney Munoz turns out to be 
a, a uh, provincial legal officer. Uh, okay? Na hindi ko na sabihin kung sa lugar. Basta siya ay isang, isang provincial legal officer. This, uh, kahit na meron siyang, all, as we know, if you are a lawyer in the government, you're not allowed to uh, uh, do private practice. Ba? Unless you secure uh, an authority to uh, practice law from uh, the, your uh, superior. Okay? Uh, and the, that's the only time that uh, pwede. Pwede ka. Pag wala, then you are not allowed. Uh, even us, if we, if we conduct uh, lectures, we ask permission from uh, the head of the the agency para payagang kami na makapag-lecture. Otherwise, hindi pwedeng mag, mag-lecture. Okay. So, it turns out, Attorney Munoz is a provincial legal officer. Okay? Okay. And then, uh, being a provincial officer, he handled the um the the, the cases diba, na uh, pinahawak ni neto ni uh, uh, ni Monare ni ano ni ni uh, ni uh, Monares okay so uh, lumalabas na nalaman nila eh, hindi ka pala pwedeng magpractice e eh, abogado abogado ka ng gobyerno eh ba and other than that eh siya rin ay uh, ay nagsil, nags, uh, naging uh, abogado ng isang electric company uh, at naging abogado rin siya ng, uh, ng uh, uh, National Electrification Administration. Diba? So, meron lumalabas na conflict of interest. Okay? So, uh, among others na, na kanya mga kasala-kasalanan. Diba? So, uh, aside from that, Uh, meron din na uh, cases siya na hinandle para sa isang korporasyon diba? na, na, i, na i-file sa Office of the Ombudsman while he was still the provincial uh, legal officer. Okay, so ang daming, uh, ito yung tatlong mga uh, ka, ano niya, uh, kumbaga moonlighting cases while he was still the provincial, ad, uh, provincial uh, legal officer. Ang kanyang defense, wala nang problema kasi meron akong uh, authorization. Diba? But the Supreme Court said, diba, if you are sab- sabi dito that he has uh, for for the for the period in in uh, in in issue, okay, uh, he has uh, appeared for a total of para eighty six appearances. Wado sa kaso ng inawakan niya. So sabi ng Supreme Court, eh, ang yung uh, court appearances niyan usually dapat umaga yan eight to twelve, tas o kung hapon man yan one to five. Tapos, their additional time is uh, required to study the case, drop pleading, prepare. So, yung sheer volume ng hinahawakan mong kaso clearly indicates diba, that uh, government time was necessarily u- utilized in pursuit of his private practice. Diba? So, just like uh, in, in, in our case as lecturer, pag magle-lecture kami at tumapat na weekday, we have to file a leave of absence para hindi, ka, hindi namin nagagamit ang uh, ang government resources during uh, lecture ito of, uh, after office hours so wala problema but uh, you have to ask uh, permission from uh, the the office okay so tito kahit na sabi mo may uh, authority ka to practice law eh malino na malinaw di ba um, 86 times so malamang lamang nagamit mo yung oras for your appearance nagamit mo sa pagdraft ng pleadings pag research eh, among others okay ano pa di ba So naging return retained counsel ka ng uh, isang uh, electrical uh, cooperative, ba? Diba? Tapos uh, ikaw ay uh, nasa National Electrification Administration, so medyo may konting uh, problema ka diyan, ba? Diba? And uh, malinaw na nag-violate ka plus yung uh, nag-file ka pa ng cases uh, before the office of the ombudsman. Okay? So the Supreme Court said uh, he violated Uh, canons uh, 15 diba? not only that yung syempre yung unang-una canon 1 yung sinasabi ko sa inyo default answer ninyo and also canon 6 ba nabanggit natin kanina uh, bawal yung conflict of interest diba? so uh, he was suspended for 3 years okay and of course given a stern warning that a similar infraction or uh, uh, another infraction would be uh, severely dealt Uh, next time. Okay? So, ito yung mga pinagbabawal. 
uh, pag if you're a, a, a lawyer in the government, you cannot use government uh, resources and you have to secure authorization from the head of the agency before you will be allowed uh, to uh, to, uh, to uh, practice your profession. And then pag may conflict of interest also, pinagbabawal din yan. Dito, malinaw na yung conflict of interest, malinaw pa na nasa gobyerno siya. That's why he was suspended. Okay. There are cases about notary public, okay, na decided by uh, Justice Kagiwa. Okay, so ito yung mga quotable quote na pwede nyo magamit because uh, sa kanya mismo nang galing ito. Okay, a notarized document is entitled to full faith and credit upon its face. Kaya sacred yung mga notary na yan. When I was in private practice, hindi ako nagnotary ng alanganing dokumento nang hindi ko nakikita yung mga tao na party. Di bali nang hindi ako kumita ng pera but so, kailangan lang sigurado ko. Thus, a notary public should observe utmost care in performing his duties eh, to preserve public uh, confidence in the integrity of notary document. Di ba? Uh, buti nga, hindi na, mas, hindi na talamak yun nung araw sa ilalim ng LRT, along recto, may, notary, may libro dyan. Wala naman si attorney, may golden hand. Di ba? So, wag ho, pag nag abogado kayo, wag na wag dahil... Uh, Nako po, uh, pag, na, pag nakita nyo yung mga kasong susunod natin. Okay. Merong uh, tatlong kaso dito sa tungkol sa uh, na pagnonotaryo. Okay. Yung kaso ni Attorney uh, Ching, Castello versus Attorney Ching. Okay. Yung kaso ni Spouses Navarro versus Attorney Igonia. At yung kaso ni Uy versus uh, Attorney Apuhin. Okay. Ito ay mga division cases, hindi po ito unbank cases. Pero isa-isahin na lang natin dahil uh, iisa lang naman yung tinutukoy niyan. <clears throat> so, sa kaso ni uh, Tony Ching, uh, siya ay, uh, ay uh, he, he was able to uh, notarize a, uh, a uh, deed of sale. Okay? Na yung, uh, yung isang partido diyan sa deed na yan ay patay na. Okay, ganun ka simple. Okay, nagnotarize ng isang dokumento na patay na. 'Di ba? Paano siya nakapagdokumento, 'di ba? Eh kaya kaya eh itong uh, si Ator, si Castello at saka yung mga nagrereklamo yung heirs, 'di ba? Paano mo na notarize na notaryo niyan ay patay na yung uh, yung taong yan before it was notarized. Okay, that's the first issue. The second issue in the dito sa kaso naman ni uh, Tony Gonya, di ba? Nangyari naman dito, um, itong uh, spouses Navarro, uh, nag-obtain ng loan, ba? nag-collateral sila, yung kanilang property, at para to secure their loan, nag-execute ng promissory note, ng uh, uh, real estate mortgage, tapos yung pinagutangan nila by some reason, di ba? Uh, medyo common practice di ba? execute ka ng deed of sale para hindi na ako mahirapan ng mangulekta hindi na ako magpa-file ng kaso etc. So they were convinced na aside from the promissory note and the, uh, the uh, real estate mortgage napapirma sila ng deed of absolute sale. Pero ang sinabi dyan naman gagamitin lang to pag nag-default kayo. So wala kayong problema dyan. Okay. So uh, nabigay yung loan that eventually hindi na bayaran itong uh, mag-asawa Okay. So, pinadalan sila ng demand letter asking that uh, they pay, ganyan-ganyan. So, belatedly, na-register yung uh, 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 real uh, estate mortgage. Now, since hindi magbabayad itong mga, itong dalawang ito, diba? sinabi nila na uh, 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 nagulat sila na bigla na lang merong deed of absolute sale, di ba? na ninotaryohan itong si attorney Igon niya. Well, siya rin na nagnotaryo nung naunang promissory note at saka nung real estate mortgage. At the same time, ni Chay nagnotaryo nito nga deed of sale. So sinasabi ng, uh, ng mga tao, diba, parang hindi kami nag-appear before him to, to sign that uh, notary public. And that, uh, that, sorry, that, that uh, deed of sale. And worse, sinasabi niya na yung kanilang mga iba pang pirma sa mga doon sa deed eh appears to be not theirs, di ba? And uh, ano siya, uh, forge. Yung mga pirma so uh, fictitious yung deed, deed of sale na ninotaryohan mo. So that's the second one, okay? So yung isa patay, 
isa fictitious peke yung mga pirma ng mga ng uh, mga tao. Okay. So the third one in sa pagtatanong sa notaryo ay yung kaso ni ni uh, attorney Apuhin. Okay. So itong si Uy ay uh, isang overseas uh, uh, Filipino worker na nagtatrabaho sa Taiwan. Okay. So bumili sila ng uh, property ng kanyang uh, asawa, ba? Diba? And then uh, uh yung kanyang uh, uh, property eh uh, pinapirma sila ng uh, parang joint waiver, okay? Para uh, doon sa uh, mortgage ng uh, ng property. Okay? Uh, later on, anong nangyari? Yung uh, joint waiver ay eh, nanotaryuhan. So sabi niya, paano man nanotaryuhan yan? Eh wala kami sa Pilipinas noong mga panahon na yan. Malinaw na malinaw. So nagpakita siya kanyang passport, kanyang uh, BI or immigration records. Pinakita niya that it was proven na wala siya sa Pilipinas. So itong tatlong kasong to, nagnotary ng patay. <laughs> nagnotaryo ng peking dokumento fictitious and forged signature and third one nagnotaryo na malinaw na malinaw na not in the presence of the party who executed the document so malinaw na malinaw yung yung mga uh, kasalanan na nagviolate sa notarial practice act so sabi ng supreme court halos pare-pareho ganun ton sinabi ng supreme court so suffice it to state di ba that notarization of document is vested with with substantive public interest kasi nga magiging public document yan eh di ba courts administrative agencies and the public at large must be able to rely upon the acknowledgement executed by the notary public di ba pag sinabi mo the uh, parties appeared before me totohanin mo that the parties appeared before you di ba that they voluntarily did it di ba at uh, pinakita nila yung iyong uh, mga government and, and dito nga in, instead na government issued ID eh uh, community tax certificate pa na since 2004 eh pinagbabawal na hindi na, hindi na ginagamit siya na as a, a competent uh, proof of identity okay so sabi diyan diba, it must be done in accordance with the requirements of the 20, 2004 rules of notarial practice okay yung mga quotable quotes ninyo ha so Lahat itong tatlong ito na nagnotaryo, revoke ang kanilang uh, uh, notarial practice. Okay? Si Attorney Ching, yung nauna, diba, ay uh, uh, revoke, pero may uh, malupit siyang ano, uh, penalty, perpetually di- di- disqualified to become a notary public. Diba? Eh, but, uh, he, uh, he end, so end pala, sorry, hindi but, and he was suspended in the practice of law for six months, diba? for notarizing a uh, document na patay na yung tao. So may perpetual disqualification siya to be a notary public. Doon sa number two and number three cases, si Atty. Gonya at Atty. Apuhin, also they, their uh, notary public uh, were uh, uh, revoked. They were also disqualified to, to be commissioned as a notary public although walang nakalagay doon sa ruling na perpetual so baka pwede pa silang pagbigyan pag medyo tuminutino pero malupit-lupit ito uh, yung isa kasi di ba na, na, na pumirma ng fictitious document at forged signature yung isa ay pumirma ng isang dokumento ng wala naman talaga sa Pilipinas yung, yung tao di ba nasa Taiwan they were uh, 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 suspended also for a period of six months. So, yun disqualification itong dalawang ito as a notary public, hindi perpetual. So, parang two years lang ang uh, ginawa sa kanila. Unlike yung kay, uh, kay uh, Atty. Ching yung nauna na nag-notarize ng dokumento na patay. So, perpetual disqualification to be commissioned as a, uh, a uh, notary public. Yung dalawa for two years suspended uh, Ay, uh, sorry, just for two years disqualified to be commissioned uh, sa notary public. And pareho na silang tatlo, sinuspend sila in the practice of law for six months. Okay? Now, question, pwede bang mag-appear ang abogado sa katarungan pambarangay? As you know, as we know, hindi pwede yan. Hindi pwede mag-appear dyan. Okay? So, meron isang kaso decided by the uh, ponente, di ba, na sinasabi dyan, 
Canon 1, ito yung sinasabi ko na Bible dapat, a lawyer shall uphold the constitution, obey the laws of the land, and promote respect for law and legal processes. Diba? Kung sinasabi na batas na bawal ang abogado, respetuhin mo, bawal mag-appear ang abogado. Okay? Sinasabi dyan also that the lawyer shall not engage in unlawful, dishonest, immoral, and deceitful conduct. Okay? Sinabi pa rin also dyan sa, sa kasong yan, diba, na uh, under... Okay. Under uh, yung uh, PD uh, 1508, sinasabi doon that was also mentioned in the local government code na bawal mag-appear ang abogado. So uh, uh, they, the, the parties in a, uh, a barangay conciliation or katarungan pambarangay, yung bagong term ngayon, uh, should appear in person without assistance of counsel or representative. Okay. Ang exception, di ba? Eh, pa, na, na pwede ang representative kung ang party ay minor or uh, incompetent, pwede sila assisted by next of kin who are not lawyers. So malinaw na malinaw sinasabi dun sa sa PD at when it was repealed by the local government code sinasabi mismo na bawal ang abogado. Okay? Kahit nga yung minor or, or uh, incompetent, ang pwede lang mag-appear para sa kanila ay ang next of kin who are not lawyers. Malinaw yan. Okay. So nangyari dito sa sa kasong ito si Attorney Baldo ay uh, nag-appear parang uh, yung yung uh, sa mga parties nakasuhan respondent ay uh, kanya mga ma ma magulang, kundi ko nagkakamag magulang or kapatid ko kam kamag-anak. So nag-appear siya. Ang kanyang defense, sinasabi niya na nagpaalam ako doon sa sa official ng barangay at pinayagan naman ako ng official ng barangay. So sabi ng ng, uh, ng uh, Committee on Bar Discipline at uh, ng uh, governors ng IBP at eventually ng Supreme Court, that is of no moment. Hindi porket sinabi nalang pumayag, eh, okay na yung ginagawa mo. Okay? So sabi, Attorney Baldos violation of PD 1508, okay, clearly falls within the prohibition of the Canon 1. 101, yung binanggit natin kanina. So sabi ng Supreme Court, Canon 1 clearly mandates the obedience of lawyer to laws and legal process. A lawyer to the best of his ability is expected to respect and abide by the laws, thus avoid any act or omission uh, that, that is contrary to the same. A lawyer's personal deference to the law not only speaks of his character, but it also inspires uh, the public to likewise respect and obey the law. Diba kung sabi, eh, si Atone, hindi sumusunod. Hindi na rin kami susunod, diba? Rule 101, diba? states that the norm of conduct to be observed by the lawyers, by any act or omission that is contrary to or prohibited or authorized by or in defiance of or disobedience to or disregard, uh, disregards the law is unlawful. Nakalagi sa batas, hindi niya sinudod. So unlawful conduct does not necessarily imply the element of criminality, although the concept is broad enough to include such element. Now, I just have some issue kung makikita nyo this was decided in 2018. But ang katarungan uh, pambarangay o the barangay conciliation law noong araw ay uh, sabi nga nasa PD 1508 but, but, but this 1508 has already been uh, revised and consequently repealed by the local government code particularly on the Katarungan Pambarangay provisions ba? Sa, uh, starting uh, uh, section uh, 399 ng, uh, ng uh, uh, local government code. Okay. So sinabi mismo sa repealing clause ng local government code PD 1508 is hereby repealed. So isa yan sa mga na-repeal. Kaya nagtataka ako bakit uh, how Can this lawyer violate a uh, law that is already repealed? But anyway, meron kasing isang kaso. Uh, sinabi, malinaw dyan sa kasong yan, na PD 1508 uh, has been repealed by the local government code. Express yan ha, nasa repealing clause mismo. Okay. Uh, uh, kaya lang, di ba, the uh, jurisprudence built, They're on regarding prior referral to the Lupon as precondition to the filing of an action in court remains applicable because its provision on prior referral were substantially reproduced in the code. 
So sinabi ko nga kanina, uh, yung provision under Section 9 ng PD uh, 1508 ay reproduce also in the local government code. Okay, sinabi, the same exact provision, except lang doon sa PD, parang uh, without the assistance of council slash representative, doon sa local government code, sinabi doon, without, without uh, uh, assistance of council or hindi na slash representative. And the same, pag minor incompetent can be assisted by next of kin, who is not a lawyer. Ang sa akin lang, the lawyer did not violate 1508, which is already repealed. repealed. He violated the local government code. Dapat sana. Yung naging ruling. So, uh, kayo na bahala. Ako, uh, nandun mismo, eh, ni-repeal na yung batas na yan. Eh. So, you just cite the local government code pag nagtanong on uh, Lupon. Okay? Baka sabihin sa in- na uh, na-violate yung 1508 sa akin, malinaw, eh, repealed already. But, hindi naman, i- ibig sabihin na-repeal, eh, wala na siya na-violate because the exact reproduction nung uh, provision na pinagbabawal yung abogado is still found under the local government. So, he, he did not violate 1508. He violated the local government code. Okay? Nakuha nyo? Okay. Very good. So, ano lang yan? Parang uh, testing lang na dapat eh, alam natin yung mga ganyang bagay na repealed na yung batas na yan. It's the local government code who's, uh, that's uh, supposed to uh, have been violated by this this lawyer. Okay. So let's move on to the case of, of Lopez versus uh, Cristobal. Okay. So ito yung mga uh, uh, provisions na nagamit yun sa kaso yan. Okay. So a lawyer should, uh, again, uh, in the uh, unbank case, you take note of, uh, uh, nakalagay naman sa screen ninyo, yung mga division cases at unbank cases. Uh, I give more weight to uh, unbank cases kasi ano na yan, eh, tapos na yan. Eh. Pagka division cases, baka i-MR pa later on. Na, although ito sa sobrang tagal na, eh, yan na yun. Wala, wala nang... Uh, Susunod dyan sa tingin ko. Okay. So, a lawyer shall serve his client with competence and diligence. A lawyer shall not neglect a legal matter entrusted to him and, and his negligence in connection with their wit shall be redeemed, uh, render him uh, liable. A lawyer shall keep the client informed of the status of his case and shall respond within a reasonable time to a client's request for information. Ba? Usual yan. The text, update, in-ignore your text, nag email messenger in ignore sinabi mismo ng canon you should respond within a reasonable time to a client's request for information kahit na sabi mo pasensya na busy ako the whole day understandable lahat naman ng lawyers ay busy pero pagkukulan mo ng panahon na sagutin di ba after office hours sagutin mo man lang or ako kumisan sa sobrang pagod kumisan kinabukasan and I apologize to to my client before when I was in private practice na sabi ko pasensya na talagang sobrang loaded na pagod or uh, na, kumisan nakakalimutan natin lalo na nung araw pag <laughs> ang inbox na Nokia na pupuno nakakalimutan na natin magreply but uh, uh ito yung uh, essence okay that you should reply when asked about information ako when when I was a lawyer make it a pra- a a, a a practice na I, after hearing, I, I go back to the office, I make a status report and I send it to the clients na by registered mail. So, at kung meron mga court orders na dapat ma-update yung client, I also uh, serve copies to the client para updated sila kung ano nangyayari. Okay? So, even before, I send it by registered mail, I send it by email, then I get a court copy of a, an order uh, what happened to the case, I also send it to the to the client. Okay, so updated lahat ng mga kliyente ko at that time. So ano nangyari diyan? Okay, so ito pa yung mga canons na applicable. Okay? So kailan ka pwede ka ba mag-withdraw ng uh, ng appearances mo? Yes, for a good cause, 'di ba? Kung uh, uh syempre iniiwasan ng uh, canons na magwi-withdraw ka just because of money. Pero of course, ina-allowed ng ng ano yan. Del, del, we have to earn a living na pag hindi na nagbabayad yung kliyente, pwede naman yan. So, kailan ka pwede mag-withdraw? If the client pursues an illegal or immoral course, the conduct of uh, the case that you're handling, illegal na eh, yung pinagagawa sa'yo, immoral na, you withdraw. Di ba? Eh, the client insists that lawyer pursue conduct violative of the canons and rules. Di ba? Hindi pwede bawal na yan, unethical na yan. So, withdraw ka. 
uh, inability to work with co-counsel will not uh, promote the best interest of the client. You can withdraw. When the mental or physical condition of the lawyer uh, renders it difficult for him to carry out the employment effectively, you can withdraw as a lawyer. And when the, the client deliberately fails to pay the fees for the services or fails to comply with the retainer agreement, then, then uh, you can withdraw. Okay. And uh, F, when the lawyer is uh, elected or appointed to public office, ako nung na-appoint po ako, uh, uh, to, uh, dalawang beses ako pumasok, ay eh, uh, entered the government service um, uh, as chief legislative officer in the Senate. Then I went back to private pra practice and then I went back to the government when I got uh, appointed in the office of the Ombudsman. So, nag-withdraw po ako sa mga cases ko noon. And other similar cases na pwede mag-withdraw. So, ito lang ay instances. Okay. So, ano ba nangyari dun sa kaso ni, ng uh, Lopez, Lopez versus Cristobal? Okay. So, sinasabi dito na uh, nire-require yung kaso ni uh, Lopez o na abogado din si Cristobal to file position paper. ba? Kaya lang, na, bukod sa nagbayad na siya at sinabi niya na attorney, pakifile ng position paper, ang representation ng lawyer is that uh, he has already filed the the position paper in court when in fact, ba, hindi naman pala na-file yung position paper. At sinabi pa ni Lopez na at time, ba, eh, uh, hindi inaattendan na itong ni Atty. Cristobal yung mga cases in court, yung mga hearings, and uh, si uh, Atty. Cristobal, she uh, would uh, deliberately refuse to communicate with, uh, with uh, her client. Uh, hindi na hindi na parang uh, tatawagan uh, hindi na matawagan tapos uh, eventually biglang hindi na nakikipag-communicate so napuno na ngayon yo si uh, uh, atong si, si Lopez di ba eh kinasuhan na niya before the committee on bar discipline etong si attorney uh, Cristobal okay so sabi ng Supreme Court di ba Canon 18 clearly mandates that a lawyer is duty-bound to competently and diligently serve his client once the former takes up the, the client's cause. The lawyer owes fidelity to such cause and must always be mindful of the trust and confidence imposed on him. Hence, his neglect of, uh, of a legal matter entrusted to him amounts to inexcusable negligence for which he should be, he must be administratively liable, as in this case. The next one, yung natin kanina, Diba? Yung Canon 22 provides that an attorney may uh, only retire from a case either by written consent by, by his client or by permission of the court after due notice and hearing. Okay. So, paano kung hindi mo makuha yung consent ng kliyente mo? Okay. Sabi ng Supreme Court, a lawyers who desire to retire from an action without the consent of his clients must file a petition for withdrawal. So, pag may consent, Diba? Pwede mo na notice of withdrawal na lang or motion na mag nagwi-withdraw ka with consent of the the client, mawi-withdraw yan. Pero kung hindi mo makuha yung yung uh, yung consent ng kliyente mo, you have to file a petition. Meaning, it's a separate and new action. And then, uh, you must give the other parties diba? at least three days before the date of uh, yung uh, motion mo, uh, yung petition mo, yung uh, schedule for hearing. Other parties meaning also, also your client diba? and kung hindi mo magawa yan that can your petition may be treated as a mere scrap of paper so sabi dito ginagamit na defense nito ni attorney Cristobal na uh, na, na, na ano eh nag, nag withdraw na ako diyan eh pero wala naman siyang mapakita diba so na withdrawal so she was suspended for uh, practice of law, uh, the practice of law for a period of 6 months okay Tapos pinababalik din sa kanya yung 25,000 uh, na uh, na balance ba doon sa uh, na receive na 35,000 doon sa attorney's fees. Okay? So, ayan yung kaso na na isa ng uh, tungkol sa sa pera na naman. This is another case. Uh sikat ito eh, itong uh, Makapagal versus attorney yang na kaso. Okay. So dito, uh, 
ang sin- ang uh, uh, nangyari dito uh, si uh, si attorney yang ba uh, eh nag-file ng ng, uh, ng kaso against sa uh, judge makapagal okay at uh, ang uh, ang uh, ay sorry di sa nagdagdag nag nag-file ng kaso si Judge Mapagal against uh, Attorney Yang. Sorry, nabalik. Nag-file siya ng kaso. Bakit? Kasi itong si Attorney Yang, sinulatan mismo si Judge. Okay. Okay. Na sinasabi, sinasabi niya dito, ba na uh, Judge, okay, parang na, if you will, uh, uh, you will, uh, 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 continue with, nanalo na yung, nanalo na yung, client, yung, uh, yung uh, isang party rito parang sinabi niya na if you will uh, continue with the writ of possession and writ of the demolition okay if that will be implemented okay then i will be filing in ad- an administrative case against you for rendering rendering an uh, unjust and uh, uh, knowingly knowingly rendering an an unjust judgment Okay. So uh, nananakot, okay, na na patsi na sabi niya na sinabi niya na hindi naman sa pagmamalaki ako rin yung abogado ng nitong uh, isang kaso na ganito kalaki, ganyan ganyan ganyan. Okay. So Canon 11, sinasabi a lawyer shall observe and maintain, 'di ba? The respect due to the courts and to the judicial officers and should insist on similar conduct by others. So sabi ng Supreme Court dito, that we agree with the board that attorney yang violated this this uh, canon okay it deemed it's appropriate uh, to uh, lower the uh, penalty to reprimand kasi gustong uh, i-suspend considering that it is his uh, first offense lamang and if you his advancing age advanced age na siya eh bababaan na lang yung penalty sa kanya so yung ganong uh, sulat na pag hindi ka sumunod uh, pag pag yan ay inimplement mo eh eh uh, kakasuhan kita di ba na un- knowingly rendering a an ju- an, uh, judge judgment the problem here is that uh, dito sa kasong ito hindi man lang ito si judge makapagal yung nag-issue ng writ so pa- prior to her, her uh, uh, assumption as a judge nandiyan na yung writ ba i-implement na lang okay so nag-file na motion to i- implement uh, yung writ and uh, and issue of a writ of demolition yun na lang, ba? So tapos tinat tinatakot pa siya na ganyan. So siya na buti na lang, yun nga first offense lang niya and then uh, advanced age na siya. So medyo mababa na reprimand na lang. Okay? So another uh, case, Kagiwa case, this is a second division case, the case of Kanyate versus Attorney Puti, okay? Ang kanon na ginamit diyan, again, Canon 8, a lawyer shall not shall conduct himself with courtesy, fairness, candor toward his professional colleagues and shall avoid harassing tactics against opposing counsel. Ay ka pag kayo pala ay magta-type, wag niyo i-type na all all uh, caps na ganito ha kasi sa canon parang to em- emphasize na yun yung canon naka all caps yan pero wag sa sa exam kasi parang it is as if sinisigawan niyo yung nagbabasa as I've said. Uh, you write for the reader and not for yourself. So wag 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 yung uh, naninigaw ka diyan sa, sa sa kaso. Okay. So dito sa kasong ito, um uh, uh etong si Attorney Puti, sabi nito ni ni magkaano to eh uh, si yung yung asawa asawa nito ni Kanyete ay uh, kinasuhan ng uh, ay uh, involved sa ay biktima pala, biktima ng uh, kidnapping. So, pino-prosecute niya yung kliyente nito ni Attorney Puti. So, siya sabi niya na matinahiri yung lasing, ba? Tapos, in uh, in, argue, in arguing uh, uh, against the uh, pa, pro, pa, prosecute, uh, prosecutor, nabanggit niya na ano, na, uh, na parang ano ano ka ba uh, 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 yung uh, medyo dapat gender sensitive din tayo parang sinabi niya na uh, wag ka nang bakla parang ganun inano niya sinabi niya na, na bakla yung uh, kalaban okay 
Hindi lang yan, yung first instance, may isang uh, instance pa na nag sa kaso ay dalawang prosecutor. At ang kanyang comment, uh, oh, bakit dalawa kayong prosecutor? Okay? Uh, siguro, malaki yung bayad sa inyo. Quote, unquote. Diba? Eh, eh, ako, siyempre, personal, masakit sa akin yung prosecutor ako. Eh, diba? Sabihan ka na, kung panel kami, tatlo, appearing for the state. Diba? Tapos sasabihan ka na gano'n, oh, ba, tatlo kayo? Ba? ba? Siguro, malaki yung bayad sa inyo. Okay. So, tama ba yung naging actuation niya? Diba? Uh, Marating ka lasing, tapos tinawag mo yung, uh, yung uh, kalaban mo na bakla. Diba? Tapos sinabihan mo pa yung, yung prosecutor na uh, bakit dalawa kayo? Siguro malaki yung bayad sa inyo, di ba? Sabi ng uh, Committee on Bar Discipline at sinabi din ng Supreme Court that the remark, those remarks in your conduct diba, are uh, is considered unprofessional. Diba? A lawyer shall not in his professional dealing use language which is abusive, offensive, or otherwise improper. Okay? Sinabi ng Supreme Court, while seal and enthusiasm in championing a client's cause is desirable. Tama naman yun. Dapat makita mo na ano ka, gigil ka, di ba? gilas, di ba? Uh, unprofessional conduct stemming from such seal and in, in enthusiasm is disfavored, di ba? Huwag naman to the point na nagiging bastos ka. There are lawyers who in court na masyadong gigil, uh, sa objection your honor, pagka sinabing uh, overruled, mag may make face, di ba? Magdadabog, di ba? Pagka ganun, di ba? Eh, wala eh. Appreciation ng court yan. You have to realize na uh, wala, wala tayong magagawa. Di ba? Kasi the justices, the judges are are also human. They make mistake. Pero wag naman nating to the point na sabihin na, na mas superior tayo. Appreciation eh. That's how they how that's how they appreciate it then. So be it. Okay? The Supreme Court sabi, uh, has consistently held that disbarment, eto at tandaan nyo, uh, disbarment and suspension of authority are most severe forms of disciplinary antics and should be imposed with great caution. Okay? So, eto kasi yung uh, parang, uh, siyempre, gigil dahil sinabihan na bakla, sinabihan na dalawa kayong prosecutor, laki ng siguro binay- binabayad sa inyo, di ba? They should be meted out only for duly proven serious administrative charges. Okay? So, kahit na ang suggestion ay, uh, mal- may, uh, ay uh, suspension, sinabi ng Supreme Court, while attorney Puti is guilty of using inappropriate language against the opposing counsels and the judge, such transgression is not of grievous character as to merit such his suspension since his misconduct is considered simple rather than grave. Okay? So, napag, uh, na-reprimand po itong si attorney Puti. Okay. The next Kagiwa case is um, a, uh, a special is, is special who, who ito na, na kaso. Okay. Uh, first division siya pero uh, naalala ko noon pagka ang tip ng mga senior sa akin na nakapag-bar na at naging abogado na basta tanong tukol sa abogado laging guiltyhan dito magugulat kayo hindi guilty si si attorney dito kaya ano nangyari dito okay so uh, nanalo na yung yung uh, yung uh, kumpanya nito ni uh, Zamora sa 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 sa, sa MTC inakit sa RTC RTC ay inaffirm yung uh, kas, yung uh, yung ruling so binalik sa MTC para for uh, execution na okay so execution na ah uh, biglang etong si uh, uh, attorney Mahinay ay nag-file na motion for uh, reconsideration at ang uh, Kanyang wordings dito sa kanyang uh, uh, at, uh, motion for reconsideration na, na if the subject uh, order of the honorable court will not be reconsidered, okay, uh, this would uh, violate, di ba, yung kung uh, anumang canon of the code of uh, judicial conduct, ba, at uh, pwede kang mak- makasuhan. Diba? Parang gano'n ang kanyang wording. Plus, sinabi pa niya sa dulo ng kanyang uh, motion na we are furnishing a copy of this motion 
uh, to the we are we are serving a or furnishing a copy of this motion to the uh, court administrator okay as a uh, uh, parang ano uh, precautionary parang reservation di ba na uh, in case nga na hindi maggrant yung gusto nila di ba to upgrade their their uh, perceived violation of the code of judicial conduct to a formal administrative complaint kumbaga pinauna na tong motion namin uh, parang kung hindi nga uh, i-reconsider then from a mere copy furnish we are we will up, be upgrading this motion into an administrative complaint okay yan yung uh, pinalalabas dito okay uh, so sabi ng supreme court dito all all told diba uh, kanya mga uh, sin- sinabi rito na uh, kung ano no against uh, the, the 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 judge and also the prosecutor din na pagsabihan din dito um, all told the court finds that attorney mahina did not unfairly criticize or disrespect Judge Medina in any way. Okay, on the contrary, Attorney Mahinay had in fact been circumspect in choosing the language he used in crafting his motion for reconsideration. At most, he might have been overzealous in defending his client's cause, but this is not necessarily bad. The court has always been mindful of the lawyer's burden, ab- ab- abundant duty to defend his client's cause with utmost zeal for as long as as he or she stays within the limits imposed by professional rules attorney mahinay did not overstep these limits kumbaga wala naman siyang uh, sinabing masama parang sinabi lang niya if kung hindi ma-overturn to eh um, magfa-file kami ng kaso na nag-violate yung uh, canon of uh, judicial uh, conduct now Nilagay din niya doon sa dulo na we are furnishing a copy of this uh, motion to the uh, court administrator na if there is a need, we will upgrade this to an administrative complaint. Diba? From a mere motion, copy furnished lang, file kami ng uh, kaso. So sabi ng Supreme Court, wala naman masama dyan. Diba? Unlike yung, yung uh, previous case na nabanggit natin kanina, diba? yung kaso ni... Uh, pa uh, Tony Pamato na sinabi niya pa mismo doon na na na, 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 na na sinabi niya na in my 30 years of experience I have never uh, seen a judge who appears to be so corrupt as you. Well, 'Yun talaga medyo foul words na to. Ito the Supreme Court so nothing wrong with uh, the statements used by uh, Attorney Mahinay. Okay? So nakita niyo na meron din namang mga abogado na na kadidismisan yung kaso. Hindi lahat eh may makasalanan. Okay? So, another another case. It's also a uh, first division case. Yung attorney uh, uh, Kubaros. Ito magkaaway na na abogado. It, ito nagkaaway. Okay. Again, Canon 8, pang ilang beses ko na binabanggit, conduct himself with courtesy, fairness, and candor towards his professional colleague and shall avoid harassing tactics against opposing counsel. Okay? Ano pa? Uh, sinabi, a lawyer shall not in his professional use language which is abusive, offensive, or otherwise improper. Ano ba ang nangyari dito? So, uh, uh, abogado sa kabilang party itong si attorney Kabarugis, tapos at abogado sa kabila itong si uh, attorney Basa. Sa reklamo ni attorney uh, Kabarugis, sinabi niya, uh, attorney Attorney Basa exhibited the uh, immaturity on at least two, two on two occasions, particular two occasions. First one, yung nag-file sa pangalan kasi nito ni uh, Kabarugis ay uh, Honesto or Honesto, pag silent H, okay? Honesto, pag uh, ipropronounce H, okay? Honesto, okay? So, dang asar ito si Attorney Basa, ang ginamit niya ay Honest O. Kumbaga, capital letters, yung H-O-N-E-S-T, small letter yung O. So, parang honest O. Twice niya ginawa. Eh, na, na Several, in, sa, doon sa basta sa pleading na babanggit yung pangalan, honest O, honest O, ang uh, kanyang binanggit. 
The second, nung nagpadala ng uh, demand letter to si Attorney Basa, sinadya na naman niya na may imis-spell yung pangalan ni Attorney Cabarugis from honesto to honest. Yan lang. Ginawa niya honest. Okay? Bibigyan ko kayo ng, uh, ng ano. Di ba, pag kayo ay nak- nakakabasa ng, ng ano, uh, ito yung ano, di ba? The greatest insult that you can do to a person is misspell his name. Di ba? Nakaka-insulto yun. Lalo na pag alam mo yung spelling ng pangalan. Yung honest mistake, okay lang yan. Pero, di ba kayo, pag nakakabasa kayo ng mali yung spelling ng ng apelido nyo, parang an- ansakit-sakit, di ba? Parang ako pag uh, kumis, eh, ilang beses na nangyayari, toy ni Ryan kilala, K-I-L-L-A. Diba? Pwede yung honest mistake, pero kumisan, na-offend ako na. Langya, di ba? <laughs> Sinisira yung pangalan ko. Nakaka-insulto kasi yung, yung, yung ganon. Okay? So, ito, hindi, hindi, mo, hindi pwedeng sabihin ni attorney, ni attorney Basa na uh, ano siya na uh, uh, ano tawag dito? Parang uh, typo error. Eh, kaya, kasi ilang beses niya inulit-ulit eh. Di ba? Tapos, hindi lang yan. Nagpadala siyang de- demand letter. Ganun na naman ang ginamit niya. Imbis na sabihin niya yung tunay na pangalan, Alice O. Di ba? And also, di ba, eh, uh, dahil kinakasuan ni Atty. Cabarugis yung uh, mga kapatid neto ni Atty. Basa, bumabawi ito ngayon. Parang pinafilean siya ng ilang, ilang admin cases, civil cases, criminal cases, di ba? Na sa tingin niya malicious and unfounded. Okay, so yan ang kanilang away. Doon sa honest, wrong spelling, minispell yung pangalan. Offensive ba yun? Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? The greatest insult that you can do to a person is misspell his name. Nakaka-insulto yun. Nakaka-insulto yun. So the Supreme Court said in this case, di ba? A lawyer shall exert every effort, consider it his duty to assist the speedy administration justice. The lawyer shall not file multiple actions arising from the same cause. A lawyer shall represent his client with seal within the bounds of the law. A lawyer shall employ only fair and honest means to attain the lawful objective of his client. Diba sabi nga ni Attorney uh, Honesto <laughs> Cabarugis, eh, pinaulanan siya ng kaso, admin, civil, and criminal cases. Diba? So, uh, sabi ng uh, Supreme Court, uh, the court finds that Attorney Basa violated yung mga binanggit natin kanina. Yung Canon 1, of course, sabi ko, default Canon yan, that, that dapat memorize niyan. Canon 8, Canon 12, Canon uh, 19. Okay? So, when he filed basis criminal suits against Attorney uh, Cabarugis, poked fun at Attorney Cabarugis by deliberately misspelling his name in an omnibus motion and third cause delay in the staff case after moving for inhibition of the presiding judge after eight years in trial. Diba? So the court agrees with the original findings of the IBP that uh, Attorney Basta employed harassing tactics against Attorney Cabarugis. Di mo, ilang taon ng pending yung staff case biglang after eight years motion to inhibit, di ba? So, uh, sinasabi na, uh, agree, tunto sa mga, dahil, dahil nga, na siya, siya ay nagahawak nung uh, staff cases against the sister of attorney Basa, eh, gumaganti ito. So, si attorney Basa was suspended in the practice of law for a period of uh, six months. Okay? So, uh eto tayo sa ay sa sa case ng Reyes versus Gobatan. Okay? So dito sa sa kaso to, sinimulan natin yung mga kagiwa cases na tungkol sa pera. Diba? Basta tungkol sa pera medyo ingat-ingat ng mga abogado. Wag kayo wag na wag kayong manguutang sa mga sa mga magiging kliyente niyo later on. Okay? Lalo na pag and then, trust legal fees yan, gamitin niya na maayos. Okay. Ang nangyari dito, diba, yung complainant, si Reyes, diba, eh, nasabi niya, matagal na niya kaibigan dito to si Tony Gubatan. Diba? And uh, since uh, childhood days, uh, college days pala, sorry, college days, eh, magkaibigan na sila. And he said that, uh, kinuha niyang lawyer, and then for in, in uh, uh, six different occasions, nang nangutang at nangutang itong si Attorney Gubatan. Okay. Now, uh, every time na hiningi yung bayad, diba, eh, hindi ayaw ayaw hindi niya mababayaran, hindi niya mababayaran, di ba? Eh umabot na ng uh, more than 700,000 yung uh, utang nito ni Attorney Gubatan. Eh ano yan, including uh, 
uh, uh, interest okay and, and, and penalty okay so napuno na si si uh, uh, si Reyes so finalan na niya ng not only uh, uh, a case before the committee on bar discipline he also filed a uh, uh, two uh, uh, collection sum of money with damages before the MTC of Quezon City so the supreme court said diba, the relationship between lawyers and their clients is inherently imbued with trust and confidence and as as true as any natural tendency goes this trust and confidence is susceptible to abuse Pero mo mabot na 700,000 plus including penalties and interest okay uh, the rule prohibiting lawyers from borrowing from their client is indeed to prevent the lawyer from taking advantage of his influence syempre may moral tendency ka sa kliyente na pag baka pag hindi ko pinayaran to si attorney eh, pabayaan yung kaso ko di ba so uh the his influence over the client as a rule presumes that the client is disadvantaged by the lawyer's ability to lo- to use all legal maneuvers to renege on his obligation okay so ito yung uh, 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 tungkol sa kaso niyan so sabi ng uh, Supreme Court kay katulad ng binanggit ko kanina sabi on a final note the the court notes that the uh, IBP board was correct in not including an order for the return of the sum of money borrowed by Gubatan from Reyes. Sabi ko nga, iba yung legal fees, iba yung utang. Okay? Uh, this loans from Reyes and the corporation, since these loans were contracted in his private capacity. So as held in one case, findings uh, during administrative disciplinary proceedings have no bearing on liabilities of parties involved, which are purely civil in nature. Meaning those liabilities which have no intrinsic link to a lawyer's professional engagement, as the same should be threshed out in a proper proceeding of such nature. In any case, the return of money herein is already subject of two complaints filed by Reyes and the corporation against Attorney Gubatan for collection sum of money be with damages before, as I've said earlier, before the MTC of Quezon City. Okay? So linawin nyo rin yan pag uh, sa exam, okay? So pag legal fees, filing fees, di ba? Acceptance fees, yan ibabalik yan and then the court will order its return. Pero kung utang yan, lalo na in a private capacity, not connected utang eh, di ba? So hindi hindi iba, hindi mag-order ang court na ibalik mo yung inutang mo. But that would be subject to of a different uh, case and could be sabi nga dito should be threshed out in a proper proceeding of such nature, collection sum of money. Huyan. So here, si Attorney Gubatan was suspended by the Supreme Court for a period of three months in the practice of law. Okay, so ito yung mga kagiwa cases. Kung mapansin nyo, we started 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ito na po, 2021, I checked. Wa, wa, walang, wala naman akong nakita. And uh, I think kung magtatanong man, uh, malamang-lamang dyan kasi ito rin naman yung frequently asked questions in the bar, the bar exam on legal ethics. Okay? So, tandaan nyo lang when it, sa, sa, sa mga dinagdag sa ano, when it comes to uh, suspension or uh, disbarment, di ba? Sabi ng Supreme Court with extreme caution ginagawa yan kasi nga uh, uh, kumbaga livelihood eh. Di ba? buhay na naubagado ang concern dito. So tal- kung grave yung kanyang offense, that's the only time that the Supreme Court will uh, 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 execute diba? or implement itong mga violations ito. So tatandaan nyo, if ito yung mga grounds, okay? if there is deceit, malpractice, or gross misconduct in office that a lawyer may be suspended or even disbarred, so depende kung grave yan. Gross immoral conduct. Oh, so, gross immoral conduct is a ground for disbarment. Madidisbar ang abogado dyan. So, by reason of his conviction of a crime immoral, involving moral turpitude, estafa, bouncing check law, kung ano-ano pa, di ba? Na against uh, morals, di ba? Na hindi maisip na isang abogado ay kayang gawin. Di ba? So, so, pwede makasuha niyan. For violation of the oath which he is required to take before, kumbaga, violation of the lawyer's oath, willful disobedience of any lawful order, yung, nabang, yung nabanggit natin kanina, di ba? May, may lawful order, hindi sinusuot. Uh, 
uh, corruptly or willful appearing as a, a, a attorney for the party to a case without authority to to do so. Yan yung anim na grounds for uh, uh, suspension and disbarment. But it has to be grave. Tandaan nyo. Nabanggit naman natin. So, as a final note, okay, uh, lagi nyo tatandaan, as a final note, una nyo nga uh, binanggit uh, well ito ang sabi sa akin ng aking mga senior noon huwag kang pupunta sa legal ethics kung wala kang baon na maraming ad- adjectives ba diba? ang dami na natin binanggit kanina zeal ba diba? uh, kung ano no pang mga uh, adjectives you have to make use of this ba diba? and I've said also ba diba, as a second final note huwag kayong pupunta sa legal ethics nang wala kayong mga quotable quotes ba diba? If you have to memorize one uh, one canon, you have to memorize canon one because I, uh, ako sinasa ginagaranti ko it in it encompasses all. Kaya nga nasa number one yan eh, ba? Diba? At uh, magagamit niya kahit anong uh, situation. You know the fourfold duty, ba? Diba, of a, a lawyer, so masasagot niyo na yung mga mga tanong. So as long as you have that uh, quotable quotes, ba? Diba? Or uh, as I said earlier, you pick up lines, you can get that it's in the internet you just uh, google ryan's pickup lines or bar pickup lines lumalabas yan i tried it before kasi nagulat ako may naglelecture ako at biglang sa sa chat may pinakita sir it's on in the internet so it's there i googled it's already there. Uh, uh, para lang meron kayong yung, yung hindi kayo nawawalan di ba kasi the checker di ba sabi ko right for the reader not yourself the checker will look into your uh, your 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 uh, knowledge or the, the depth of your knowledge uh, in the use of the english language so, mababaw ang ginagamit ninyong mga terminology wag naman yung sobrang lalim na nakakalunod eh uh, it would could could work uh, against you so pakita niyo na may control kayo of the of the english language and lastly final note wag na wag kayong pupunta sa exam ng legal ethics kung hindi niyo memorize ang lawyer's oath Okay. This is on you. Kailangan ninyo memorize nito. Bakit? Kasi kung kahit hindi niyo mabasa yung canon, well, I'm not saying na huwag niyo basahin. Kung sakali ma-black out kayo at memorize niyo ito, everything is here. Maintain allegiance to the to the republic, support the constitution and the laws, 'di ba? You do no no falsehood nor consent to the doing of of uh, uh, such falsehood, 'di ba? You will not uh, promote any groundless suit. Wa? You will delay no man for money. You will conduct yourself as a lawyer to the best of their knowledge and discretion. Diba? Tapos, with all uh, it, uh, fidelity, you owe it to the court to, as well as to your client. You owe it also to the profession. Diba? And you impose this voluntary uh, obligation without mental reservation or purpose probation. So help you God. Okay? So uh thank you very much. I hope we have covered the frequently asked questions or topics asked topics in the the bar exam. Uh after ng bar exam nyo this Sunday, diba? I know a shameless plug, baka may time kayo. Have fun manood naman kayo ng show namin <laughs> November 26 uh, Music Museum. So again, thank you Philippine Association of Law Schools headed by uh, my good friend uh, Dean uh, Jim Festin and also uh, syempre sa uh, aking publisher uh, promise ko siguro by next year yung update sige gawin na natin and uh, dagdagan pa natin medyo naging busy lang kaya hindi ko nakapag Rex Bookstore and uh, Rex Education so uh, Godspeed to all of you just don't stop believing magiging abogado po kayong lahat maraming salamat po Ay, by the way, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ay, sinabi ko kanina before the na. If you have any questions, uh, you can send me a message, messenger ko. Sa, uh, ako po ay si Ryan para sa bayan. Okay, so hanapin nyo na lang po ako sa Facebook or Messenger. Thank you very much po. Thank you so much, Prosecutor Kilala, for your extensive knowledge on legal ethics. To everybody watching, make sure to look up Ryan's big up things to help you with your exams. Also, Kung may tanong kayo, just free, feel free to add Sir Kilala on Facebook so that you can have your queries answered. 
Also, thank you to our partners, Rex Bookstore and Rex Edo Hampion for making this event possible. We would like to remind everybody that our frequently asked topics on the Bar Subjects Lecture Series will have its final stream tomorrow and will tackle special proceedings with Dean Pistin. So make sure to follow the Pals and Rex Bookstore Facebook pages for further updates. We hope that everybody tuned in to their stream learned a lot from this evening's lecture. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening and we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much, prosecutor. Thank you, Paul. <laughs>